Hey, what's going on, my Libras? The time has come to see what is going on for the mid-month of October. Let's pull some guidance for October the 15th through the 31st. Dear Spirit, please give me some guidance for the sign of Libra. Please give me some wisdom to lead them to overall happiness and abundance in their career, finance, love, and relationships. Please give me some guidance for the sign of Libra for October the 15th through the 31st to lead them to overall happiness and abundance. Thank you so much for all your messages and wisdom in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of Libra some guidance for October mid-month the 15th through the 31st all right spirit please give me some guidance for the sign of Libra thank you so much for all your messages in the past present and future please give me special guidance Hostilities. Whoa. Why, son? What is going on? What is going on, Libra? Libra envy. Oh my goodness. I should have just kept on shuffling shit, but you know. Speak the truth, Lord. Speak the truth. Let them know what's going on. I'm trying to remember what was going on last time I did Libra. I don't even remember. A broken heart. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Give me one more card, Spirit. I'm feeling anxiety in my stomach. Why? I don't like the energy coming off of this, y'all. I don't like this. I do not like this, y'all. Come on, now. I said community popped out again. Community. I just, I knew, I knew it was about to be some community dick-ass situation. God damn. What the fuck is this? Victory. Man, ain't gonna be no victory in this situation. I ain't seeing that. Putting that right the fuck on back. I, I seen community pop out, and I just, I tried to shuffle it again, and that shit just had to fall the fuck out, yeah. So, all right. You know. I feel like, you know, it's a lot of hostilities to somebody's relationship because... Um, there's a partnership where there's not a lot of attention and affection being directed towards the person that they're actually with. And I feel like there's someone in this relationship that feels like this person is just out there just entertaining the damn community. And they're envious of that. Maybe you're looking online and you're checking to see who this person is liking on Instagram and on Facebook. You know, maybe this person is being a little messenger thought, a little Instagram, a little Instagram thought. Thought the lotta. Thought Tiana. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's a lot of shit going on on the internet. And someone is, is, is seeing that. I don't know if you look through some phones or some shit or just, I don't know, you just follow each other online and you see people being and doing the most in the comment section, putting a little hard eyes, a little dumb ass shit. You like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And I feel like someone is really heartbroken by this shit. They feel like the person that they with is not for them. That they're for the fucking community. And there's a lot of hostilities going on right now in that relationship. And that's some straight up bullshit. And Libra, let me tell you something. I know, man, I know for sure. I know some Libras. And y'all some crazy bitches. Look, let me tell you something. <laughs> Go ahead and leave some. Don't put yourself through that shit. I don't want you to hurt nobody. I do not want this person to push you to the air. I don't want you to go to jail, cuz. I'm not, look, I got a few dollars on the, look, I got, I got about $17.99.95 on the bill, bitch. Look, don't be trying, I'm telling you, I, ain't, I got $17.99.95, I ain't got that much on the bill, bitch, I, but I got you. You know what I'm saying, don't be, look, you know, fucking fighting with these hoes. Damn. Fuck that shit. Don't be feeling envious, me, but fuck that shit. You are beautiful. You understand what I'm saying? Because this card of envy right here. This is someone who really has it all, but because you were too busy looking at what's going on out there and you're not paying attention to yourself and really what you have and what you possess and all of your beautiful qualities and stuff like that, it's showing on your outer appearance. It's showing that you're envious of these other people that you're seeing online and all these other people. Look, all these other girls. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you feel like you don't measure up to all of these beautiful other girls that this person is looking at online. And it's coming off in 
the way you're carrying yourself now. But you a bad bitch because if you wasn't, the nigga wouldn't have been with you in the first place. And fuck these hoes. Once these bitches find out who the fuck they is anyway, they ain't going to want to deal with them any motherfucking way. And you know that. Bitch, you hardly want to deal with them. You need to switch your shit back up. You be, Look, you need to go on that side and be one of the bad bitches, okay? Fuck that shit. Don't be carrying yourself like that. You understand what I'm saying? Don't ever let nobody put you in a place where you envious of hoes. These are fucking hoes. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying go over on that side and be on some hoe shit. I'm just saying you see how they carrying themselves with confidence, beauty, abundance. You understand what I'm saying? <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little under the web. Look. This shit is coming off. You look pale, dry, and fucking head. No, bitch. Step your shit back up. Don't, don't let this motherfucker get in your head. Because they out here with these hoes. Fuck them fucking hoe ass bitches. Let him have them hoe ass bitches. Because guess what he going to get exactly what he get. What come with hoe ass bitches. Motherfucker don't see you as a true queen and all that stuff like that. Look, I don't want to be somewhere where I ain't want it. Fuck all the hostilities and shit, because for real, I really crack off on a nigga on some real ass shit. I ain't even about all that life. I'm letting y'all know right now. I, I, I ain't about no damn community ass situation, because I fuck around, really murk the fuck off on some odd, and end up in jail. Look, because I'm born in October too, bitch. <laughs> I'm born in October too. I'm right there on that motherfucker down there, that Libra Scorpio motherfucker line. I know. That's why I'm trying to tell you, like, listen, listen, Linda. Go ahead and, and go ahead and leave that shit alone, man. For this, for this motherfuckers, have you in jail? Good slam. I'm because I'm feeling the energy that's coming off of the woman right now, and it's like off of some like, nah, like, <laughs> bruh. Yeah, very soon. Very soon. Okay. What is this? Alright. What is this? It's telling you to heal, heal. Very soon. You need to heal family issues. Because there's deception going on. That's affecting your children. And you need to figure out somewhere else to express your love. That's what I'm getting. And you need to make this decision to end this shit and remove yourself out of this very soon. Because it, it, cause you need to heal the family issues that's going on behind this deception because this shit is affecting your kids. And I draw the line when shit is affecting the fucking kids. Okay? You need to give your love to yourself. You need to express your love somewhere else. Okay? Make the romantic gesture towards yourself to love yourself enough to get the fuck up out of there. And if there's somebody else that is in your sight of vision that is showing you some type of interest, go ahead and express your love in that direction. Not to this shit. Okay? I'm going to clarify that and express your love because it's not... I feel like I shouldn't even pick that shit up because that shit don't mean. No, it do. You need to express your love to your children. You need to express your love to your children. Okay? You need to you need to heal. You need to heal the family issues that's going on regard to those to this deception. And you need to express your love to your children. That's that's excuse me. You need to express your love to your children. That's what you need to put your love and your focus on. That's the only thing I feel like right now is going on in your love life. Is you trying to Rectify the situation very soon and heal the shit going on with your family. I feel like your children is your main priority right now. Spirit, please give me some guidance for Libra. Why am I so fucking angry? Man? Oh my God. I told y'all, like, as soon as I started shuffling, I started to feel anxiety and shit in my stomach. Like, I want to fight or everything. Like, y'all got, hey, look. Call me, nigga. I'll slide the nigga for you. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. Y'all got me angry, son. What the fuck? I'm going to have to motherfucker burn my motherfucking sage. <laughs> Where the fuck is my sage? I'm going to have to burn my motherfucking sage and shit. After this motherfucker, these motherfuckers don't piss me the fuck off. Bitch. Bitch. Spread your wings. Please fly. Please fly. Spread your wings, baby. Look, you know, angel therapy and life review. You need to spread your wings, have a life review. You need to do a complete inventory 
Okay, you need to take inventory of your life and resolve to change and heal anything that is unbalanced. You need to remove anything out of your life that is not benefiting you. That is not for your betterment right now. And give your cares and worries to the angels. Allow us to take your burdens, okay? Do not stress yourself out about this. And spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect. And you are ready to soar. Let go. Move out of this situation. Get you and your kids out of this fucking bullshit. Especially if this is not your kid's father. Get him the fuck out of your house. Get him the fuck out of your shit, yeah. Oh my goodness, that shit just irritated the fuck out of me, huh? You need to do a complete life rehaul, inventory of what benefits you and what's for your betterment and what's not. If it's not for your betterment, you need to release that shit. You don't need to be trying to help nobody. I don't give a fuck if this motherfucker is going to be hurt. I don't give a fuck. I would not give a fuck about how somebody is going to be living and how they're going to be taking care of themselves and you disrespecting me and you in my house and you disrespecting me and cheating on me and there's all this hostility and drama and bullshit, especially where I'm starting to feel envious and looking at myself as if I'm lacking. And that shit's starting to fuck, my, fuck up my self-esteem. Well, I ain't never felt like that about myself. No, you got to get the fuck out of my sh No. It says let go, okay? Walk away from the situation in order to resolve it, okay? Conduct healthy work with culinary skills. And you need to start paying attention to how you eat and taking care of your body. You need to let go and you need to make sure that you take care of your body and eat it correctly, okay? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so fucking irritating here. Please Listen to his pain in the background. You need to stop missing that shit. That nigga ain't hitting your line no more for a fucking reason. If that nigga ain't showing you attention and doing this shit that he's supposed to be doing, fuck that nigga. Don't be talking like no weak ass bitch. Is this how you sound? I hope you're not sounding like this to your friends. Please don't do that. Don't do that. I love that song, but don't be sounding like no weak bitch. Fuck that nigga. If he don't hit your line, bitch, make me look. Get him. Remove yourself as a fucker option. Remove yourself as an option. He want to be in the community good. Let him be all day. You don't hit my line no more. Fuck that bitch ass nigga. All right. All right. You need to cleanse your heart chakra, okay? You need to cleanse and heal your heart right now. Because this whole situation was a blessing in disguise. Okay? You need to cleanse and... Like I said, you need to heal your heart and cleanse and detox yourself. That's why they was telling you that you need to make sure that you're eating healthy and correctly as well. You understand? And all of this was the law of attraction. Everything in this happiness was for a karmic reason. This was to teach you a lesson. And you know what the lesson was in this situation. You know what it was, okay? Each thought is an investment and pays intimate um, dividends. So invest wisely. Do you hear what I'm saying? Each thought an investment. Each thought is an investment. So if you constantly thinking in your mind, I just want this to work, I just want him, you are attracting that to your life. But be careful what the fuck you're asking for. Because it's what you asking for. If you keep telling the universe, I just want everything to work out. I just want him to be with me. I just want him to love me. This is what you're asking for. Okay? You have to learn the law of attraction. If you want better, you have to cleanse your mind. That's why they're telling you, cleanse and detox yourself. Cleanse and detox yourself. Let go mentally. Okay, free yourself completely. Walk away from this shit. And you need to make sure that you're um, nurturing yourself and you're eating right and you're exercising and you're taking care of yourself because this whole situation was a blessing in disguise for you to heal your fucking heart and cleanse your body. You need to rid your whole body of this man even touching you. Like this dead ass how the fuck I'm feeling. Y'all just don't even understand, like, how I'm fucking disgusted right now. Like, I'm just so fucking disgusted. Like, I am disgusted. 
Ain't nothing that make me a be more than a neighborhood dick ass fucking nigga, y'all. Fucking Instagram, Messenger, Facebook, Messenger, thought ass, internet, horn ass fucking bitch ass nigga and they the worst because they the ones that they get balls because they behind a fucking profile online because if they weren't behind that profile they wouldn't even be getting and pulling bitches all like that you understand because they game ain't even that motherfucker tight because guess what they they got time to sit back and think about some slick ass shit to say in real life they ain't even that motherfucker clever ain't even got no motherfucker and yeah uh, and as soon as i fucking separated the decks look what was right there the devil and the king of wands. A whole ass nigga and a fucking devil. I'm taking that out. Because you need to see that. Okay? And what else is coming out out of the decks? Did you have a new opportunity coming your way? But you're hung up on some fuck shit. You're lacking strength right now. Okay? But you want to take action. Oh, my God. You are not learning from the mistakes of the past, okay? You want to take action, but you not really... You, you, you... <sighs> Bruh. You got to let this shit go, okay? Because at the end of the day, if you really do focus, you could have a nine of pentacles situation where you are fruitfully abundant and you're financially prosperous. You can manifest this to you. And it'll come quickly. It'll come quickly. Like it says up here, very soon. It'll come quickly. Quickly. Okay? If you put your passion behind it, the wands is passion. You understand? The wands is passion. So if you put your passion behind making quick, rapid movements to getting the fuck and manifesting greatness to you, all will be okay. You have to use the law of attraction to want to quickly resolve this situation, okay? Manifest abundance to you, okay? Do this shit very soon, okay? Because you need to heal issues dealing with your family regarding this deception because it was affecting your kids and you need to start expressing your love towards yourself and your children, okay? So you don't have time to sit back and focus, all right, about this king of wands living in this motherfucking devil, low vibrational, whole ass fucking energy. This is a toxic ass motherfucking, whole ass nigga. This is an in and out motherfucker. This is a non-committal person, especially with the devil car coming right behind it. Okay, this motherfucker was making offers wherever the fuck it could because he was a community dick ass motherfuckers. This nigga was making new fucking opportunities, making new movements, was using his wand in the f community because he was a community dick ass nigga. And your ass is sitting over there heartbroken and feeling envious and using your energy arguing with this fuck nigga about what? About what? Huh? Why? You think that these bitches is better than you? Why? Because they got fake hair and fake asses or whatever the fuck? Are you fucking kidding? Yeah. If you do not, you are letting this listen. You see the devil? Do you see the devil? He has the male and the female attached and chained and bound to his energy. If you are attached to this man, okay, who is living in this low vibrational energy, he is pulling you down with him. That's why you look like this. That's why you carry yourself in lack and you are envious. That is a low vibrational energy, beloved. Do you understand what the fuck I'm saying? And that's why I'm so angry right now because this energy that's coming up. I'm about to burn some fucking sage because I'm angry as shit. Listen to, and listen to what's playing in the background. X Factor. Come on.
That is going to have to be for this stupid motherfucker to find out in the end. Okay? That no one will ever love him the way that you did. And no one will ever will. But guess what? That's his loss. You have to pack your shit up and motherfucker do what you got to do for you. Is this a silly game that forces you to act this way? To force you to scream my name? And then pretend that you can't stay? Do y'all hear this shit? Listen, didn't I tell you, an in and out motherfucking nigga, is this some silly game that make you to call my name and then pretend that you can't stay? This nigga playing with you, Slim. Playing with you, y'all. Listen, heal this shit. Recognize this motherfucker for who he is. If you don't and you continue to play with this shit and you continue to entertain this shit, I don't feel sorry for you. And you got to stop running to your family and friends telling them about this shit because at, at the end of the day, you're going to fuck around and lose everybody because people going to get tired of hearing about this shit. Because you know. Once you know, you know. And the cards are still, like, come on. It says it up there. This is even more clarifying this. King of Wands, in and out, hoe ass nigga, controlled by devil ass energy that was pulling you down, got you tied, wrapped into this shit. This nigga was offering his penis all over the fucking place. You're hung up. You're feeling lack of strength because you're attached to a devil ass energy. You are connected to a karmic, low vibrational energy. This situation was to teach you a lesson. That's it. You let go, and I let go too. Look. Because ain't nobody hurt me more than you. And nobody ever will. Do y'all hear what the fuck this song is saying? And no one ever will. No, Matt. Listen to the song. You always seem to let me know that it ain't working. Why? Because where they at? Listen to the song. You hurt yourself to make me stay. You hear me? You better stop letting the devil fucking play with you, bitch. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm not about to pull no more cards. I'm not about to frustrate myself no more with this fucking reading. Because I feel like for some reason, it's still somebody out there that's not going to get this shit. And they still gonna entertain this shit. Cause guess what? The last card at the end of this fucking spread was that they not gonna learn their lesson. They not gonna learn their lesson. It's somebody. I'm not saying all the Libras, but it's one particular Libra or a few of y'all that's not gonna learn y'all lesson yet. Y'all gonna continue, continue, continue to go through this karmic cycle. Okay? Until he leave you. Until he leave you. Because you're lacking strength. It says it right there. Look. 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 You want to take action. But you ain't learned yet. I'm going to have to say this again. In and out energy. Controlled by devil. Low vibrational. Whole ass tendencies. Offering itself all over the place. You have lack of strength due to the trauma and the turmoil that you dealt. You feel hung up. And you can't figure out a way to release yourself. You want to make movements, but you haven't really fucking learned what you really need to learn from the situation. So you want to repeat the cycle again. Spirit is telling you to pay attention to the law of attraction. What you ask for, you get. If you continue, keep praying to God, I just want this situation, I just want my... Uh, uh, you are continuing to attract that to yourself. That's why you ain't learning shit. Because you keep asking for it and God is giving you exactly what you asked for. Okay? If you really... Okay? Let me move this bullshit out of the way. Cleanse and detox yourself from the situation and realize that this was a blessing in disguise. That you need to release your children out of the situation. You and your children out of the situation and heal your heart again. 
and learn how to attract rapid, okay, manifestations of abundance to you, okay? You will be okay. You have to learn how to use your mind. Your mind is a tool, is a weapon, okay? It's your mind that allowed you to look at these other bitches and make you feel like you were lacking. And that completely changed you who you were on the outside because you let your mind control you and tell you that you weren't better than them. Use your mind as a weapon. Do you understand? Manifest greatness. We have the magician here. And it'll come quickly. Okay? This abundance. Financial prosperity. You see, she got beautiful clothes. And she can send that bird out there to, you know... She uses nature to her will as well. And you see, she has a, a, a lush gardens of grapes and just, this is someone who is like one step away from ultimate financial freedom and goddamn prosperity and just having every fucking thing imaginable. Being completely fulfilled, fulfilled. Okay? You can manifest this to you, but you have to use your mind and you have to release yourself from this energy, okay? If you decide to continue to entertain this and let you, and, and, and to let this to, to continue to weaken you and to keep you tied up like that, then you are going to continue to repeat these cycles and can't nobody help you but yourself. This has been your reading. Y'all have a good one. Listen, burn some sage, you guys. You need to get some sage and you need to smudge the shit out of your house. Okay? Get this person out of your house and smudge. Cleanse yourself. Do a, a Get you some eucalyptus leaves. Put that shit above your shower. Okay? Y'all need to do some cleansing. What did I tell you? This is a blessing in disguise. Okay? Release this energy out of your life. Cleanse and detox yourself. It's been good. See y'all in November.